Hello, hello. We are doing a surprise snark fest. Um, I should we should apologize for taking so long. Um, because well, I went on vacation, so obviously I didn't want to do it. But when I was on vacation, I hurt my back because I slipped and fell while I was when we were out in the Badlands, which was oh so fun. Um, and then I got COVID as soon as that was done, and then I had spent a good two weeks dealing with that. So yeah, it's been a hectic few months month for me or so, but we're back. Um, hopefully everything's going well for you guys. Uh, again, I do apologize. Like I said, it's been weird. Um, I still need to finish cleaning up everything from when I had COVID. So yeah, we are watching The Prince's Bride today, which I personally have never seen. I know Marie has seen it and is a big fan of it. Are you not? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> so, yes, uh, you're kind of going to be taking the lead for this. Um, and obviously, play, plenty of people, if you want to watch with us, this is on uh, Google, uh, Google, Disney Plus it's right now. Plus. I believe it's, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I actually on Disney just Plus. shared the link in the comments. So up to five more people can join us if they want. If you just click the link and you're logged into Disney Plus, it'll take you right to where we are and you'd be able to follow along if you want. If you want to go ahead and like invite people, go right ahead. Feel free. I have no one to invite. I just put the link up. People can join us if they want. <laughs> well, assuming people are watching this past date, then you know, like I said, it is on Google Plus. Yeah, then Why you can I just say Google, my lord. Uh, it is on because Disney. Because you really miss Google Plus, that's why. Apparently, it was such yeah. A great Evidently, I, I don't know why it failed. <laughs> oh, I know why it failed. Um but it is on Disney Plus. I believe it is on Netflix. And I thought I saw it on Hulu, but that could, but that was like a long time ago. So I don't know about that one it's anymore. It's around a bit. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's on a number of sites. You could probably find it. So it's in my like said, library never... on DVD and Blu ray. And I used to own it on VHS as well. So, you know. No, definitely... literally the only, the only thing I know about this is it has a scene in it of. I am an ego Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. And oh, also that it was apparently made on like a shoestring. Bro What's up? Yes. Oh, it's throughout all, the whole thing. Yeah. And another thing I know about this movie is apparently it was made on like a shoestring budget. I mean, like legit, we bought a shoestring. This is more than the movie cost. So I mean, they actually had a decent. So here's the background. Rob Reiner had just made bank on Stand By Me, right? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. it was a huge hit. Everybody loved him. They said, you can make whatever movie you want at this point. So he picked The Princess Bride. And the thing with The Princess Bride is, it's been a book since for, for a while. while. Um, mm -hmm. It was a much-loved book, except studios didn't want to touch it because they didn't know how to market it. So they just didn't do anything with it. But Rob Reiner was like, I'm going to do it. I want to make this a movie. So he actually, he didn't have like a big budget, but he did have a budget. They actually did put a lot of like thought into the costumes and the music and this and that. Yeah. Um, well, when we do Star Wars, I'll have to tell you about that budget. That was hilarious. And he put them out. <laughs> no, that just yeah. makes me think well, when we finally. I mean, it, like I said, it's not a big budget, but it's not like Blair Witch Project. Budget, well, yeah, right? yeah, so, yeah. I shouldn't. Um, yeah, like I said, but, it is. I mean, for a movie, it's got a low budget, but I, but I, I don't mean to imply that it's like legit. Well, again, they didn't want to, they didn't want to give it too much because they still didn't know how to market it. And mm -hmm. in fact, they still, the whole time this thing was like out in theaters leading up to it, they marketed it all wrong. Nobody went to see it. It did awful in the box office. It actually did a lot better when it hit home video, and that's where it became a huge hit. Fair enough. So I grew up watching this movie. I think I actually had it on beta growing up. Yes. And then VHS. And this was like the first movie my sister bought when DVD became a thing. It was the first mm -hmm. Blu-ray I bought. I mean, it's just a really good movie that everybody should watch. Yes. Do not get it confused with The Princess Diaries. It is not a oh, really good movie. Yes. This movie is for <laughs> everyone. Anne Hathaway, yeah. Because yeah. I've, I've said to people, I'm like, have you ever seen The Princess Bride? And they're like, ew, why would I watch that movie, that Disney movie? And I'm like, no, we're not thinking about the same movie. You need to see it. We're having two entirely separate conversations. Yes. 
So anyway, so, that was my spiel. Um, I'll try to keep the comments to a low. I know a lot about this movie. I could quote the whole thing. So a uh, Facebook we'll user this- did just say hi. So hi person. Unfortunately, it doesn't show your name on my computer. I don't know why. It just says Facebook user, so I don't know. So yeah, that's weird. I'm sorry. So uh, hi to the person who's watching us. I'm sorry I can't see you see your name, but thank you for watching. So yeah, if you want to go ahead and get it started, feel free. Uh, we are watching this on the group watch thing on Disney Plus, which is it's Carmen. Hi, Carmen. Yeah. Welcome. Yeah, it's Carmen. Yeah, if you want, can you invite her? We'll have her watch with us. All right. Yeah. If she, I can, um, I can Facebook message her the link too if she just wants to yeah, join. Yeah, yeah. We'll see if we can send you a link there, Carmen. I, I'm not sure if you've seen this movie or not, but so, like I said, I know Carmen's nothing seen, except that. Movie, I'd be disappointed she, if she's never seen this movie. She's always <laughs> watching a new movie. Fair enough. Although that's still, that just reminds me of the conversation we had earlier today when we were talking about Shrek, and you just go, please don't tell me you've never seen that before. <laughs> and I was like, what? legit, if I say I have it, she's going to come up here and, like, strap me down, strap my eyes open to watch it. Well, I mean, when it comes to Shrek, that movie has been on TV uh-huh. since the day it hit theaters. Yes. Like, if yes. you haven't seen Shrek, I'm pretty sure you live under a rock. Yeah, like, which I do, but not that much of a rock because I have seen Shrek. I've also seen, seen Shrek too. Yeah. No, Shrek is another movie we should do. Um, so I I feel like all free movie events when I was growing up were playing Shrek. Like it was all over the TV. Mm-hmm. Everyone yeah. I knew could quote the whole thing. <laughs> but hey, I mean, some people live in different areas. Maybe it wasn't as prevalent in some areas as it was in mine. I don't know. Oh, it it was a thing here in South Dakota too. It was a thing. I remember, I remember being in school and just like, have you seen Shrek yet? Have you seen Shrek? Everybody's going around. And I was, of course, I was, of course, one of the last people to see it just because I lived in Crooks, which is kind of out of town, which is a little That's tiny little town. Um, and I also spent a lot of time in a, in a even smaller town called Condi, which had a population of, I'm not even kidding you, 40 people, four, zero. That's it. Um, Cause that's where my great grandparents lived. So, so yeah, so I did, so I did live under a rock. Um, I generally have never seen a movie opening night until I became an adult. Um, so yeah, I've always been behind the curve, but yeah, I did see Shrek pretty much not opening night, but like, like within the opening week. So I think I saw it in theaters like two or three times. I saw, I only saw it in theaters once. I know that. So the first movie I, I ever we're watched in the little town that I grew up in that had like three dollar movies, and I'm pretty sure Shrek was the last movie it played before it closed down. Oh. That's just like three dollars. Mean anybody? I just remember that, and I'm sad because it was a really, it was a really crappy theater actually, but it was nice. <laughs> so anyway, all right, yeah. I'm gonna attempt to get started here. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, let's do this. You're fine. Look, we don't even have to count down. It just plays. I apologize for anyone watching this after the fact. There is no yeah. countdown. Well, I usually go three, two, one, play. Yeah, I just hit play. So mine's just saying the start stream thing. Do you? I is hit your... the start stream. Is that working? Yeah, it, mine's just showing start stream. It hasn't actually started the movie. Have you? Has it started yeah, I started movie? it. What the flip? Oh, now I gotta pause it. This thing's so stupid. Are you not? Uh, are you not in it? With me? Okay. Sorry, everybody. This is the first time we've ever used the like. This is the first time I've legit used Google Plus. Period. So I'm still learning this. I thought I was hooked up, but apparently not. Hold on, I'm going back through. Oh, well, 
Okay. So here's the join group button. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to rewind it back to the beginning. But right now it's a... <clears throat> The 20th yeah. century fox should be on screen. Paused at three seconds. Okay. Come on, join. Stupid thing. Because, come on. All right, let me let me do this. If oh, not, we can try this the old-fashioned way. Okay, hold on, I'm Just reloading it. Do, 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 do. I did the students over there. They're still playing. Is the game over? Mm -hmm. They were winning last I checked. If they can win this, that'd be pretty incredible. 10 17. What game are you watching? They're um, still going on, though. 12 minutes. Oh, the fourth quarter just started. There's, 12, there's still 12 minutes left in the game. If well, they can win this, it's actually pretty impressive because they've played three times in 12 days. Oh, is this the third time? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was the start of this. <clears throat> Now it's not even opening the group group watch thing anymore. It's just going oh, automatically weird. to the, this page. What is that page? I, I don't know. It says uh, purchase UFC 256 or start streaming Hulu or ESPN. You can always activate your Hulu account. I don't. I have. <laughs> Technology? What the? Because it should just be. What's up? I guess then if you just want to pull it up, we can just three, two, one hit play at the same time as usual. Yeah, yeah I'll just pull it up here and we'll just do a three, two, one thing. All right. Putting this down. Uh, let me silence my phone real quick. Because I have an email I'm expecting to come here and I don't want that to bug me. Okay. All right, I got my thing pulled up. Do you want to do it this time? What? The three, two, one. You want to do the countdown? Um, well, I have to. <laughs> you just say three, two, one, then hit play when you're ready. Well, I know, but I need a because it didn't like go back to the beginning. Oh yeah, you're you're yeah. So, where are where are you at in yours? All right, I'm I'm at the beginning, beginning now, so we can okay. we'll do this. Are you ready? All right. Yep. Radio three, two, three. Oh. Yeah, well, what did we do? Whatever. Did you play? Yeah. Okay. Are you at the 20th Century Fox? Still got a circle logo thing here. Yeah, it's being slow. Oh my god, you're killing me. Now, okay, now it's the Fox. Okay. Ah. All right, let me know what gets to Act Three Communications. Act three, commu yep. Get. All right. Yep. Might be three, a behind. Okay. I don't know how there the volume is going to be, so I'm a little worried. <laughs> oh, my uh, Lord. That dates this video. The movie was that filmed in 1987. <laughs> Oh, what's that? Is that um? Oh, that is Fred Savage. Oh my gosh! From the Wonder Years. Yeah, yeah, I recognize him. Wow. What? Grandfather's here. That that uh, bedroom is straight out of the nineties. <laughs> 
It's the 80s, dude. The 80s. I can't talk. How are you? Oh, my <laughs> lord, dude. Hey, I was just sick. Huh? Getting his cheek pinched. Yeah. yeah. Uh, hey, bro, it's like a book. From a, or it could be a video. Yeah, it's a book. But no crap with the book. It's The Princess Bride. I see. Okay, so that's how the story works. I was wondering because I because I believe I've never like I said I've never read the book I've never seen the movie. I was wondering how Fred Savage worked in from the eighties into becoming uh, like medieval. escapes. <laughs> Oh, He's wearing a bear's jersey too. <laughs> but apparently it's Christmas time because when they opened the window, the neighbors had uh, lights on the house and he has Christmas. Yeah, I saw. Decorated. Yeah, I saw that. It's perfect for this. Does time that make this a Christmas movie? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, everybody's like, "Oh, is Die Hard a Christmas movie?" And my, frankly, I just don't give a. I don't care. No, it is. It is like I. I it is. Good to tell you. I do not care. Ooh, nice white shot. I like this shot. Really good. Did you just call him farm boy? Oh, yeah. Yes. Look, see my face Okay, so clearly she's the princess. She's not a princess. She just works on the farm with them. Please. Okay. <laughs> Probably out the farm, actually. Yeah. Chickens! That day, she was amazed to discover that my who was saying that she wish. What he meant was, I love you. Aww. Even more amazing was the day she realized she truly loved him back. Oh boy. Catch me that picture. <laughs> Catch me that picture. I love how she was looking around like, what do I do? What do I do? I gotta ask for something. Because <laughs> she just wants to hear him say it. And he knows it. Look at that. Look at that glare. <laughs> Blair, love. Oh, just kiss her, you fool. Uh, they will. Look, get, hold on. They're about to kiss. There you go. There you go. Well, I saw them in the sunset. I'm like, okay, yeah. This is like You're quoting the movie pretty much verbatim. Stop it. It's great. I'm pretty <laughs> fan, so. I told you I was. I'm going to try to stop. <laughs> you know, as someone who's, like, done, like, amateur filmmaking, I'm far more interested in, like, the behind the scenes than versus what... We actually see, so I'm actually like going through. Okay, you know, actually, really good costume design. Although I really don't like that it's all brown. It's like people have always wanted color. Color has always been pleasant. So there you go. That's much better. This never before to hear the announcement of the great Prince Humperdinck. Oh, of course, I got flute dancer. Of course, someone someone's needs to be juggling oranges. I need to see someone juggling oranges here. Hi, people! 
from now, our country will have its 500th anniversary. On that Sunday, I shall oh, marry a lady. Way too overly ambitious. Perhaps you will not find her common now. <coughs> Would you like to? <laughs> My people, the Princess Buttercup. <laughs> Excuse us, we're all peasants. Allow us to bow down for you. But a cup no. drinking is consumed. Although the more the man gave Humperdinck the right to Kind of more surprised. Right. Just walking among frosh. Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Nice The only drink is better than the day. Sorry, my lady. My lady. Yes. We are but four lost circus performers. Is there a village nearby? There is nothing nearby. Not for miles. Good. Then there will be no one to hear you scream. Run! Run! You're on a horse! Run, you! Nah, it's fine. There's yeah, a giant in the matter. got the broken neck pinch here. ...from the uniform of an army officer of Fielder. Who's Fielder? It's a country across the sea. The that is Andre the Giant, if you didn't know. Yeah, I can tell. He was actually in a lot of pain during the filming, so when he's carrying her, it's a doll. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. He's will be totally confirmed. You know this later thing about killing anyone? I hired you to help me start a war. It's a prestigious line of work for the law and glorious citizens. Why do you want to start a war? Why? Killing anyone from girls. Am I going mad? Or did the word think escape your lips? You are not hired for your brain. You are not hired for your brain. I am a citizen. Well, the sun is full. That boat is so clearly just prop. I will kill Remember this. Never forget this. But I found you. You were so strong and drunk. You couldn't find worthy. I found you. Great. Great. Helpless. 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 You must send you back to where you were. I Throw him overboard, dude. You are three to four feet taller than him, and you can lift him with one arm. Hey, but he's the brains. They came from nothing. And he rescued them. Again, I'm just, that boat is so clearly. Oh my God. Put that out in the water in the last maybe 20 minutes before it actually just started to pull apart. Charm. Let's for that. Yes. So that. Enough of that! Are there rocks ahead? How do you even get to that crow's nest, dude? Anybody want a peanut? Want a peanut? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was funny. We'll reach the cliffs by dawn! Should she be tied up? She Where is your peanut. Where are you going to go? You sure nobody's follow us? She's on a boat. Despite what you think, you will be caught. And when you are, the prince will see you all hanged. All hanged. Well, the next on this boat, Highness. The one you should be worrying about is your own. Stop doing that. We can all relax. It's almost over. I'm not sure what is all of us. As I told you, it would be absolutely, totally, and in all other ways, inconceivable. No one in Gilder knows what we've done, and no one in Florida could have gotten here so fast. What do you ask? Out of curiosity, why do you ask? What is it? Sorry, I just happened to look behind us and saw is dead. Another boat? 
smuggling some local fishermen out for a pleasure cruise at night through eel-infested waters. Who doesn't do that? Someone who doesn't know it. That's why you tie her up. <laughs> well, I forgot to tell her ahead of time that there it's eel-infested waters and you shouldn't swim in it. So I didn't really expect her Eels to do that. Are not a, are not dangerous. You know what that sound These is? These are mystical eels. Those are the shrieking eels. You don't believe me? Just wait. They always grow louder when they're about to feed on human flesh. It's the Loch Ness Monster. Right now, I promise no harm will come to you. I doubt you'll get such an offer from the teeth. What's up, Jen? What? The eel doesn't get it. That's got a lazy eye there. Oh, you know, I was nervous. <laughs> read off a little bit. I'm concerned, but that's not, that's not the same thing. Stop now if you want. No, you can read a little bit more if you want. Do you know what that sound is, Highness? Those are the speaking eels. I have so, Grandpa. You read it already? Oh, oh my goodness, I did. I'm sorry. All right, all right, let's see. Yes, she was in a water deal. She was coming after. She was frightened. Dina started to charge her, and then. Put her down. Put her down. Put her down. Yeah. Now they tie her up. Yeah. Again. again. You think you're brave, don't you? When you compare to some. That is the biggest slap in the face you could you there, buddy. <laughs> Look, it's right on top of us. I wonder if this isn't the same way we are using. Very easy. Do the light. The clips of insanity from the yacht. Hold the bait. Another thing! Do the thing. Stop it! For sake, only Fezzik is drunk enough to go up our way. He'll have to stay around for hours till he finds a harbor. Oh gosh, the boat's in legit shit. The, uh, did you uh, see the, um, oh, what's it called? The jib of the boat. It was legit shaking. Oh. Oh man. Like I said, I always look to the background and stuff. And obviously they have harness work, even though Andre the Giant was probably strong enough to legit do that. Where did their boat go? Just off. Oh, yeah, I guess I don't need it anymore, huh? <clears throat> Dude, you're both gonna fail away, man. Swimming in the rope. And it's getting into those. Inconceivable. Inconceivable. Faster! I want our story faster. I'm supposed to be in this horse. You were this great legendary thing. And you're being gained. He's carrying three other people versus the other guy doing one. No matter how strong he is, he's not going to be able to outclimb. That was exactly Fezzik's <laughs> uh, argument with Fizzini. Well, what are you going to do? Fire him? <laughs> yeah. Or while you're while he's climbing a rope, yeah, that's a yeah. Yeah, great strategy there, buddy. <laughs> It's got some so incredible up up and then they're gonna cut the rope, I assume. Yeah. And then he 
probably latched onto the cliff. Of course he did. And they can't see him. Oh, they see him. Inconceivable. Your brains are clearly lacking. <laughs> okay, I recognize that from the memes. <laughs> Whoever he is, he's obviously seen us with the princess and was therefore die. You carry her. We'll head straight for the Gilda Prize here. Catch up what he's did. If he falls fine, do not the door. You're going to do him left handed. You know what a hurry we're in. Oh, boy, I pretty much satisfied. If I use my right. Oh. Throw rocks or something. People in masks do not be trusted. What is this? Chance warm up material? Yeah. Hello there! Hello there! I'm patient. Hello, guy? I don't mean to be rude, but this is not as easy as it looks, so I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't distract me. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Isn't it your job to stop him? You'd think you'd actually be, you know, trying to stop him. <laughs> now nah, he wants to sword fight him. All right. Throw me the rope. Throw me the rope. give you Inigo Montoya's complete backstory, which they just kind of shorten up here. Mm. So I'm assuming, so he's basically like telling like, so my father was blah, 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 you know, telling his life story while he rests. Yeah, like while he's waiting, they like go into complete detail, but he just kind of sums it up in conversation here. Mm -hmm. ah, six fingers on your right hand. You always begin conversations this way? My father was threatened by a six-finger man. Was a great sword knife, my father. Six hundred men appear, and it was a special sword. My father took the job. He's got the hand. Look at that sword. It's probably your main handle. <laughs> Jewel encrusted. I've never seen That's six a sword a king would carry. <laughs> six hundred men returned and demanded. Tenth is from his prize. My father refused. Without a word, the six fingered man slashed him through the heart. I love my father. So naturally, I challenge his murder to a duel. My father. Six fingered man gave me a lie. But he gave me this. Oh, my. I was 11 years old. When I was strong enough, I dedicated my life to the study of fencing. So the next time we meet, I will not fail. I will go up to the six-finger man and say, I'm loving the set they're on. 
My name is Geneva Montoya. You killed my father. You prepare to die. <laughs> I recognize that line for the meme too. It's not a lot of money in revenge. Will I? I certainly hope you find him someday. Go right ahead. Right or I am or not, you've been more than fair. You still have this fellow. Now for the greatest. I hate to die. For the greatest sword fight in all of history. That's what the script called for. Oh, gosh. <laughs> There's probably the best Hollywood sword fight ever. Well, they took a... Well, it's clear that the actors actually did take fencing lessons. Oh, no, they did. This was like the last scene they filmed to give them as much time to practice as possible. Yeah. Well, you just you just tell by the way they're holding the swords that they that this is not. Well, the swords are pretty thin. It's really rough. Let's put it that way. Naturally, you must expect me to attack with Capitan. Naturally, I find it simple. Cancels out Capitan. Don't you? Yes, the enemy has a study. He's a big guy. Shut up. Yeah, they used uh, doubles for the aerial jumps there. But well, of course. <laughs> you, yeah, it's very rare you have the actors do that just because they're not trained to do that, and it, you, the last thing you want to do is have your actors hurt themselves. You are amazing. I don't know what to do. I'm not that either. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like an actor could really easily hurt themselves. <laughs> Oh, come on! <laughs> that is... Are you no one of course, but I must. Get used to this. Get used to They did very well with the actual fighting because it's like it's clearly their act is like legit sword fighting and not oh we're fancily dancing around blah 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 blah. Uh, a lot of training. They wanted it to be a legit sword, sword yeah, fight. Yeah, yeah. No, because I mean, like if you like a great example, if you watch Star Wars, the pre or the prequels, it's a great example of this is all show fighting, not legit. This is legit sword fighting. Yeah. <laughs> To destroy a stained glass window like yourself. <laughs> However, since I can't have you follow me either. Ow. Please understand, I hold you in the highest respect. Wouldn't you tell him that before you knock him out? Have you ever thought of privacy? Inconceivable! Get rid of me! I'm going for this quickly! What do I do? Finish him! Finish him! Your way! My way. My way. My way. What are you going to do? Throw a rock at him? Pick up one of those rocks. Get behind the boulder. That's exactly it. The man in black will come running around the bed. I should be a psychic. 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 I should be a ps
So what happens now? We face each other as though they found it. Sportsman now. No clicks, no weapons. Skill against skill wrong. You mean you'll put down your rock and I'll put down my sword and we'll try and kill each other like civilized people? <laughs> Should kill you now. Actually, I think the odds are slightly in your favor at hand fighting. It's so my fault being the biggest in the sport. I don't even exercise. I <laughs> don't even exercise. <laughs> Although I should say, apparently Andre the Giant was like like one of the like nicest people you could ever meet. Oh no, he was. Yeah, if you ever see uh, Carrie Elwes, the man in black here at a con, that's what he'll tell you. <laughs> you just spinning around with me, or what? I just want you to feel you're doing well. I hate it for people to die and die. Did you say he hates for people to die and die? Come on. <laughs> Or something like that. Oh no, it's just that terribly comfortable. I think everyone will be away from the future. <laughs> he was right! Oh, oh my gosh! 2020, thank you! <laughs> Ouch! Well, I was fuck just one person for so long. It's better as we get votes. I think it's more like cherry beans, that kind of thing. Oh. 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 No, as I said, not a good chokehold if you're trying to pin the chin. I do not envy you the headache you will have when you're awake. But in the meantime, rest well. Dream of your hard dream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that cool foot thing he did. Okay. Yeah. Anybody can do that. Oh, Humperdink. Raised all over. For both masters. For what? How did you dead? Loser ran off alone. The winner followed those footprints toward Gilda. Shall we track them both? Lucid is nothing. Only the princess matters. Clearly, this was all planned by warriors with Gilda. We must all be ready. Whatever lies ahead. Yes. It must be a trap. I always think everything could be a trap. What is this guy, Batman? <laughs> no, he's uh, the mastermind behind it. Trying to start a war, apparently. <laughs> so. Okay, I, I know I've seen this scene where it's like he has a po like poison in both cups. If you wish you're dead, by all means, keep moving forward. Let me explain. There's nothing to explain. You're trying to get that what I rightfully stole. Perhaps the arrangement can be reached. There will be no arrangement. And you're killing her. But if there can be no arrangement, then we are at the end. I'm afraid so. I can't compete with you physically, and you're no match for my brain. You're that smart. Let me put it this way. Have you ever heard of Plato, Aristotle, Socrates? Yes, of course. Red. In that case, I challenge you to a battle of wits. For the princess? To the death? I accept. <laughs> then pull the one. I know I've seen this scene and it's it just bugs me. Inhale this, but do not touch. I smell nothing. What you do not smell is called iocane powder. It is odorless, tasteless, dissolves instantly in liquid, and is among the more deadly poisonous known to man. Poor 
guitars a little bit in both. <laughs> Where is the poison? The battle of wits has begun. It ends when you decide and you both drink and find out who is right and who is and dead. dead. So it's so simple. All I have to do is divine from what I know of you. Are you the sort of man who would put the poison into his own goblet or his enemies? Now, a clever man would put the poison into his own goblet because he would know that only a great fool would reach for what he was given. I'm not a great fool, so I can clearly not choose the wine in front of you. But you must have known that I was not a great fool. You would have counted on it. So and I see, this is something that always bugs me whenever people are just like, oh, well, well he would know, but I would know that he would know, and I would know. It's like, dude, it's a perfect shot. Just take your shot. It's entirely people with criminals. And criminals are used to having people not trust them. And if they're ever important in this situation, you always gotta assume the opponent has an ace up their sleeve. Wait till I get going. The scene is making fun of people like this. Yeah, I know. <laughs> And you must have suspected I have known the power's origin, so I can clearly not choose the wine in front of us. You're just stolen. You'd like to think that, wouldn't you? You've beaten my giant, which means you're exceptionally strong. So you could have put the poison in your own goblet, resting on your strength to save you, so I can clearly not choose the wine in front of you. But you've also bested my Spaniard, which means you must have studied, and in studying you must have learned that man is mortal, so you would have put the poison as far from yourself as possible, so I can clearly not choose the wine in front of me! You're trying to trick me into giving away something. One for us. You've given everything away! I know where the poison is! And make your choice. I will! And I choose! What in the world can that be? What? What? I don't see anything. I saw something, no matter. What's so funny? I'll tell you in a minute. First, let's drink. Me from my class, and you from yours. I'm a little bit surprised they don't go like tears. <laughs> Guess wrong. You only think I guess wrong. That's what's so funny. I quit glasses when your back was turned. Ha <laughs> ha, you fool. You don't think you're doing one of the classic blunders. You'd never get involved in a land war in Asia. But only slightly less well known is this. It's never go in against a Sicilian when death is, is on the line. line. <laughs> and he falls over. <laughs> Wee. <laughs> Who are you? I'm no one to be tried with. That is all you ever need to know. Think. Isn't that the, that's probably the farm boy, I'm guessing. We're both the boys. Of course it is. I spent the last few years building up an immunity to our king <laughs> It, if the poison was that deadly, I question if you'd be able to build up an immunity towards it. Yeah, yeah, I mean... I mean, I know people can be like... I know people who are immune to, like, rattlesnake venom after being bitten by a rattlesnake, like, so many times. But that takes a long fucking time. He's had, like, five years or something. I don't know. You ask for ransom, you'll get it, I promise you! <laughs> and what is that word? The promise of a woman. You're very funny, Highness. The promise of a hey, woman. It's not matter where you take me. There's no greater hunter than Prince Humperdinck. He can track a falcon on a crowd. His name is Humperdinck. You think your dearest love will save you? I never said he was my dearest love. And yes, he will save me. That I know. You admit to me you don't love your friends. He knows it. I'm not capable of love, is what you mean. I have loved more deeply than a killer like yourself could ever dream. I was a warning. Take actor. off the mask. The next time my hand flies on a tail, where I come from, there are penalties where a woman lies. So I'm okay. angry. I've read my life on it. My life on it. And then the princess's footprint. She is alive. Or was an hour ago. They caught up quickly. No doubt. Oh, the horse back. 
Mm. I'm just looking at these extras dressed in full. I, I, there's no way that's real armor, but. You're the Dread Pirate Roberts, admit it. With pride. What can I do for you? You can die slowly, cut into a thousand pieces. I'll be complimentary, Arms. Why do you show venom on me? You killed my love. It's possible. I killed a lot of people. Who was this love of yours? Another prince like this one? That reminds me of a... <laughs> Scabby. Reminds me of a Batman Beyond scene. Oh, it's like, you killed my father. Do you have any oh. idea how little that narrows it down? <laughs> On the high seas, your ship attacked. The Dread Pirate Roberts never takes prisons. I can't afford to make exceptions. I mean, once word leaks out that a pirate has gone south, people begin to disobey, and then it's nothing but work, work, work all the time. You mock my pain! Life is pain, Highness. Anyone who says differently is selling something. I remember this farm yours, I think. He's not like that because his toe's broken. Hmm. Does it bother you to hear? Makes sense. Nothing you can say will upset me. Or his ankle. He died well. His foot. Yeah. Could please you. I think he broke his toe. No bribe attempts. It's definitely his toe. Well, his, well, the way he's walking, I'm assuming it's his toe because he's because he's not. Like limping, those ankles should be fine. You know, thank you. I asked him what was so important for him. Andre the Giant talked him into riding his ATV, and uh, he had a little accident on it. That <laughs> <laughs> does make me think of all the stupid thing, like stupid stunts actors do while they're not, and how production is just like. Ready to strangle them. <laughs> like a great example, I'm pretty sure you've seen this because in Lord of the Rings, when the first when Fellowship was coming out, they had a special about how they're all filming in New Zealand and how the production crew told their actors, "No, don't do anything." And then, um, uh, Land of Bloom was like, "There's there's way too much fun to be had." I don't still don't know why she and decided. I know this was a guy. I know <laughs> the person in a red dress falling down is a guy. Because there's no way you could have gotten a uh, woman to do this stunt in the 80s. Wee! Wee! Disappear! Ow. Good. You must have seen us closing in. Trying to count his panicky cadera. Sign wrong. I'm never wrong. We are headed dead into the fire swamp. No, not the fire swamp. Did you move at all? No. You're alive. If you want, I can fly. So <laughs> Why did you wait for me? You were Chad. Death cannot stop from coming. <laughs> what we can do is to bed for a while. I'll never doubt again. There will never be a need. Why didn't you wait? Oh, no. No, he is dead. Kiss it again. Do we have to hear the kissing part? Someday you may not mind so much. You sick, how you mean it? So now we will hear. Oh, okay. Wesley and Buttercup race the long the ravine floor. It'd be impossible to track them on air because it's so stony. <laughs> A few more steps and we'll be safe in the fire spot. Never survive! We're only saying that because no one ever hurt. Now what the... The Forbidden Forest! Yeah, mostly. Are Every... USSs. Our Hollywood likes to reuse sets, so now I'm looking at this like, okay, do I recognize this as a set from any other movie I've seen? 
Maybe granted, all. granted, if whenever they reuse sets, they usually switch it up away. You know, they'll change things, but no, I'm not saying I'd like to go summer home here, but the trees are actually quite lovely. <laughs> You're insane. She didn't even say it. <laughs> So, I'm um, this is where we get a spider attack? No. Oh. Well, that was an adventure. It seems to be for you. You. <laughs> Some who call me Tim. <laughs> oh, yeah, I will say. Nice one. Certainly does keep you on your toes. She looks so annoyed. <laughs> She's definitely annoyed. Clearly. I'm in here. It's like, uh, you can, can, can we not go around? <laughs> Is this really the uh, most efficient way to do this? How's that possible? He's been more than 20 years, and he only left me five years ago. I myself was often surprised by the words. See, what I told you before about saying please was true. They intrigued Robert, as did my description of your music. I'm sorry, I am watching him cut through these with the little rapier and cringing because a rapier would be so dull at the end of that. Any sword you use aside from a machete would just be completely dull and blunt at the end of that. Oh my gosh. Robert's grown so rich he wants to retire. So he took me to his cabin, told me a secret. I am not the Dread Pirate Roberts, he said. My name is Ryan. I inherited the ship from the previous Dread Pirate Roberts, just as you inherited from me. The man I inherited from was not the real Dread Pirate Roberts either. His name was Kamaba. The real Roberts had been retired 15 years and living like a king, Pascal. Then he explained the name was the important. So clearly, this is basically a Captain Falcon type situation. Yeah. So we sailed ashore, took an entirely new crew, and he sailed aboard for a while as first mate. All the time, calling me Roberts. Once the crew believed, he left the ship, and I had been Roberts ever since. Except now, we're together. I shall retire and hand the name over to someone else. Is that being clear to you? <laughs> Thank you. Because apparently that was a really dangerous stunt to do. I wouldn't be surprised. That's a big old rat. <laughs> It is a rodent of unusual. It is a person in a rat suit. Let's. Well, obviously. <laughs> Although, granted, you could probably find rats that big in the New York subway system. <laughs> I don't like sand. Sure it's coarse and rough and irritating gets everywhere. I knew you I set me up, that. but I couldn't resist. <laughs> I definitely set you up. Well, that's why I looked at you like that before I said anything. Oh, <laughs> well, we got the rats. Yay! Oh, we got two of them. There's no fellow here. No. No. We have already succeeded. I mean, what are the three fellows of the first one? One, the flames burn. No problem. 
There's a talking sound preceding each. We can avoid that. Two, the Viking sound. Two will turn around to discover what that looks like. So in the future, we can avoid that too. Wesley, what about the RUSS? Rodents of unusual size? I don't think they exist. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this grab the sword and have the rat. Again, miss. Grab the sword and stab the rat. Look at that tongue action. Oh, nice tongue effect. I love it. <laughs> She's useless. It's okay. It's the thing. What are you? There you go. Okay, sword. Grab mm, barbecue. No, oh, why not? You're it. Thank you. Uh, you can just kill it. You yeah. don't need to stab it three times to kill it. I mean, aim at the spinal cord. <laughs> I mean, unless it's like has three hearts that you have to kill. But you know what, mystical land? Why not? I'll take it. We did it. Is that so terrible? Yes. Surrender. You mean you wish to surrender to me? Very well, I accept. I give you a full mark for bravery. Don't make yourself a fool. Uh, but how will you capture us? We know the secrets of the first one. We can live there quite happily for some time, so whenever you feel like dying, feel free to visit. I tell you once again, surrender will not happen. For the last time, surrender! Death first! But you promise not to hurt him! What was that? Sam? <laughs> <laughs> if we surrender, and I return, will you promise not to hurt this man? May I live a thousand years and never hunt again? He is a sailor on the pirate ship Revenge. Promise to return him to his ship! I swear it will be done. Once we're out of sight, take him back with the program. Uh, I swear. Thank you. Me. Buttercup, how are you this stupid? Sometimes I wonder. Whee! Yeah. <coughs> Someone I know is looking for you. We must get you to your ship. Bash. We are men of bash. The laws do not become us. Well spoken, sir. Oh, six <laughs> fingers, ha. Huh? You have six fingers on the right hand. Someone was looking for you. Ow. Knocked him out. Yeah, that yeah was I'm sorry. That, that was, was clearly bad. just, I'm hitting you. No, no, he legit hit him and legit knocked him out in that scene. That did not look very forceful. Oh, oh no. no. Legit knocked he him ended out. up in the hospital. because I'm was going to have to rewatch that scene. <sighs> when they were trying to fake it, they couldn't get the timing down. So Carrie Ellis was like, just, just actually hit my exactly head. It'll it. work better. And the dude just really oh, came boom. down. Apparently, I don't know. That looked a little. I'll rewatch it, but I will send you the article. 
something where he said that he legit got knocked out. Well, I'm, well, here's the I don't doubt that that actually happened in shooting. I question if they used the shot or not. No, they did because, like I said, the timing was terribly off in all other shots. So, like I said, I'll rewatch it. I'll take your word for it, but it's it just it didn't feel right. <laughs> Until I kill you. Thank you. Why bother curing? Prince of the Cowboys insist on everyone being healthy before they're broken. So it's to be tortured. <laughs> there we go. Don't believe him. He survived the fast one. He must be very brave. But nobody stands the machine. The machine. Okay. <laughs> So clearly not. Uh, so it's not gonna be a bronze ball. Uh, it'd be an Iron Maiden. She's being like that. It's my father's failing health is upsetting her. Of course. Well, it's not the same thing. Thank you. Subjects again, this time is their queen. My father's final words were. Oh my gosh. She doesn't comfort him. She marries Leslie. Who can just serve it? After all that Leslie did for her, if she didn't marry him, <coughs> the cars well, and action figures are different friend. than they were in the last scene. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Continuity. You're messing up the story. Now get it right. You want me to go on with this? Yes. All right, no more interruptions. At noon, she met her subjects again, this time as their queens. My father's final words were, love her as I love her, and there will be joy. I present to you your queen, queen Buttercup. It's an odd thing for your father to say. Love her as I have loved her. Why are you loving my wife? No! No! Why did you do that? Because you had love in your hands and you gave it up because it would have killed Wesley if I hadn't done it. Your true love lives. How does she know about this? True love. Danger in the fire swamp and she treated it like garbage. And that's what she is, the queen of God. How does she know about oh, this? Bow her if you want. Bow to her. Bow to the queen of crime, the queen of filth, the queen of filth, Tristan. That's my Whoa. favorite. Putrescence. Rubbish. Filth. 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 Makes sense. That makes sense. Nightmares were growing steadily worse. See, didn't I tell you she'd never marry that rat and hunter again? Yes, you very smart. It comes to this. I love Wesley. I always have. I know now. I always will. Oh, good dog. I'm going to in ten days. Please believe I will be dead by morning. I could never cause you grief. Consider our wedding off. You uh, return this Wesley to his ship. Yes. And we will simply alert him. Is that it? Are you certain he still wants you? After all, it was you who did the leaving in the fire swamp. Not to mention that uh, pirates not known. None of the words. My Wesley will always come for me. I suggest that you, you write four copies of a letter. I'll send my four fastest ships, one in each direction. The Dread Pirate Roberts is always close to Florida this time of year. We'll run up the white flag and deliver your message. If Wesley wants you, bless you both. Not. 
please consider me as an alternative to suicide? Are we agreed? Your princess is really quite a winning creature. Simple, perhaps. Your penis is not right. I know. I'm thinking of that. It's odd. But when I hired the Zini to have her murdered on our engagement day, I thought that was clever. But it's going to be so much more moving when I strangle her on our wedding night. Once Gilbert is blamed, the nation will be truly outraged. They'll demand we go to war. <laughs> now, where is that secret knot? It's impossible to find. Oh, God. I'm coming down it. Wesley's got his strength back. I'm starting him on the machine tonight. Tyrone, you know how much I love watching work. But I've got my country's 500th anniversary plan, my wedding to arrange, my wife to murder, and Gilded of train for it. I'm swapped. Get some rest. If you haven't got your health, you haven't got anything. Oh, he's such a good friend. Uh, seriously. All right, so let's see. What's this machine? Just random. It took me half a lifetime to invent it. Oh, electrocution type thing, it looks like. <coughs> Present, I'm writing the definitive work on the subject. So I want you to be totally honest with me on how the machine makes you feel. This being our first try, I'll use the lowest setting. And like how he keeps his six finger tan glove. Yeah. That's because. Well, I mean, it's obvious why they did that. As you know, the concept of destruction is so trivial. Really, that's all this is. Instead of sucking water, I'm sucking life. I've just sucked one year of your life away. I might one day go as high as five, but I really don't know what that would do to you. So let's just start with what we have. What did this do to you? Tell me. And remember, this is for posterity, so be honest. How do you feel? Crying is interesting. <laughs> So many candles lit. <laughs> so he can see. I know, but oh, and there's a fireplace too. I trust you with this secret. Killers from Gilda are infiltrating the thief's forest and planning to murder my bride on our wedding night. My spy network has heard no such news. You watching Wesley? <laughs> Soon, my angel. Patience. It will come for me. Of course. Oh, come on. She will not be murdered. On the day of the wedding, I want the thieves' forest emptied and every inhabitant arrested. Many of the thieves will resist. My regular enforcers will be inadequate. Form a fruit squad, then! I want the thieves' forest emptied before my wedding. <laughs> it won't be easy, sir. Try ruling the world sometime. Day of the wedding arrived. The brute squad had their hands full carrying out on the new sword. Is everybody out? Almost. There's a sponge giving us some trouble. Will you give him some trouble? Move. Looks like they tried and failed. I am waiting for you, Mr. Police. Promise to go back to the beginning. 
Ah. The Spaniard. What I am? He's drunk. That's for how Vizini found him. Why not? The prince gave orders. Even drunk, he could probably fight. Well, this is where we got the job. So this is the beginning. I'm not staying till the city comes. You fruit, come out! I am waiting for this thing. Surely I'm a mini. Thank you. Mini. Perhaps no. Perhaps no. You gotta throw up. Yeah, or that works too. Do. He called Inigo up and seen his death and the existence of Count Rugen, the six figured man. Considering Inigo's lifelong search, he handled the new surprise as well. Fezzik <laughs> took great care of reviving him. There you go. That's enough. That's enough. Where is this Rugen now? So I might kill him. To be the prince of the castle. But the castle gate is guarded by 30 men. I don't think more than 10. How many does that leave you in, Inigo? <laughs> Do math. They're going to need help from her. <laughs> <laughs> What? He bested you with your greatness. He bested me with steel. He must have outlawed the city. And a man who can do that can climb my castle and slot any day. Let's go. Where? In the man in black, obviously. Well, you don't know where he is. Oh, well, I'm in trifles. After 20 years, at last my father's soul will be at peace. There will be blood. Good night. Jeez. Oh, seriously? That's not how you sharpen a knife. Oh my gosh. Rise and report. The thief's forest is empty. Thirty men guard the castle gate. Double it. My prince that must be set. The gate has but one key. And I carry that. Ah, my dulcet darling. Oh my god. Tonight we marry. Tomorrow morning, your men will escort us to Florin Channel, where every ship in my armada waits to accompany us on our hunt. Except the four fastest ship, which will fall fastest to you. Every ship with the four you say. Oh no! Cotton is a lie! You never sent the ships. No, oh, crackers. No. no, cheese and crackers. You didn't put that one together no. earlier, my No, she's a little slow. I've seen yes, that. Without having seen sooner that you were nothing but a coward with a heart full of fear. I would not say such things if I were you. Why not? You can't hurt me. Wesley and I are joined by the bonds of love, and you cannot track that. Not with a thousand bloodhounds, and you cannot break it. Not with a thousand swords. And when I say you are a coward, that is only because you are the slimiest weakling ever to crawl the earth. Ah, oh, please. He's He's not if I were you. What are you gonna do? You can't kill her yet. You're not been married. Nope. So he's just gonna lock her in the room. Each other, and so you might have been truly happy. Not one couple in a century has their chance, no matter what the story will say. So, I think no man in a century will suffer as greatly as you. 
How does he know what the hell that device works? Jesus Christ. You hear? What is this time that I'll come and suffer? My heart made that sound when we just looked at my father. The man in black next to you now. Remember? Mr. Love is marrying another tonight. The horse is the first one off in his stomach. How does he know that? So the Spaniard's clearly smarter than the other guy, whatever his name is. Thank you. <laughs> Where is the money back? You get that from this girl, yes? Does it? That is all right. Ow. Whee! I'm sorry, little. I don't mean to try it so hard. <laughs> <laughs> I failed you for 20 years. Now our misery can end. Somewhere, somewhere close by is a man who can help us. I cannot find him alone. I need you. I need you to guide my sword into a place. If he throws it and hits that knot, I'm gonna just. <clears throat> there you go. I, I love that. Just like, huh? That's it. Grandpa, Grandpa, wait, wait. <laughs> what if Rosie? Oh, see, the cars are back now. I mean, she didn't mean dead. This is only thinking. What? You want me to be here tonight? Who gets Humperdinck? I don't understand. Who kills Prince Humperdinck? At the end, someone's gotta do it. Is it in a go Nobody. Nobody kills him. Don't spoil the Spoilers. Ending. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> Stinking sun fire. I might kill whoever you want to make the miracle. He's already dead. He is, eh? I'll take a look. Bring him in. (laughs) (laughs) 
I've seen worse. <laughs> no, come on. It's a flesh wound. Sir, we're in a terrible rush. No rush, Miss Ali. The rush miracle man is right miracles. You got money? 65. I never went for so little, except once, and that was a very noble cause. Oh, no. Hey! Should I learn to break a starfish? You are a rotten liar. I gave him to avenge my father. Murdered these 20 years. The first time I was dead. Oh. Stop! Look who knows so much, eh? Well, it just so happened that your friend here was only mostly. Dead, folks. There's a big difference between mostly dead and all dead. Please open this mouth. Yeah. Mostly dead, slightly alive. Yeah. <laughs> all dead, well, with all dead, there's usually only one thing that you can do. What's that? But do as well as a little loose change. change. <laughs> I wouldn't know what some of the outtakes were for this hey. scene. Hello there! What's so important? What's he got here? That's what living for. Living. True love. True love. You heard him? You could not ask for a more noble cause than that. Sorry. True love is the greatest thing in the world. Except for a nice MLT. What the legend of tomato sandwich with the button is nice and the and the tomato is right. Come on, here's the dude. I love that. But somebody said. You said, to blame, and as we all know, to blame means to bluff. Huh? So you're probably playing cards, and he cheated. Liar! 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 I'm not going to what you just said. I'm not even trying to be that anymore. You know, that is so good. To love, he said to love, that's so good. Don't worry, Valerie. Ever since I've been talking inside him, his confidence is shattered. Why'd you say that, babe? You promised me that you would never. Nobody said nothing. This is what the cops do a If you hint him, you are stuck on her dick's water. Can I make him better on the dick's office? Humiliations galore. I love this guy. Come on, Luke. <laughs> <laughs> I love that guy. That's awesome. Chocolate coating makes it go down easier, but you have to wait 15 minutes for potency, and you shouldn't go on swimming after for at least right? uh, an hour. Yeah, an hour. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Bye, bye, boys. Have fun storming the castle. Take it away. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I couldn't think of a more efficient way to carry him. No. Evidently. Oh, that's not how you guard a castle gate. Sure it is. You just pile them all in front of the one door it takes to get into the castle. I I don't understand how that's not good guarding. How long do we have to wait before we bring out the black or what? I guess it's as good as mine. Don't be too surprised. I'll take it out the car. It's not very long. <laughs> I want my arms stuff. You've been mostly dead all day. You've <laughs> been mostly oh, dead all day. Max, make a page to bring you back. Who oh, are you? Are we enemies? Why am I on this wall? Where's the button? I don't remember anything. No, there's too much. <laughs> let me explain. No, too much. Let me sum up. I got to wedding, steal the process, my car ski. After I kill Kapunga. I don't have much time, but then they done it. You just went on your finger. That's wonderful. I've always been at Quartina. What about that? There is but one working castle gate. I can't move yet. <laughs> 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 
a 69 pound or asset for a raise. That's a story. That's it. Impossible. And a month to plan. They can't come up with something like this. It just shows you where that. That doesn't make you happy. <laughs> <laughs> Is steel and your strength against 60 men, and you think a little head jiggle is supposed to make me happy? Mm -hmm. I mean, if we only had a real barrel, that would be something. Why don't we put that whole barrel deal by your head? Why do you have a barrel? Why don't you list that among our assets in the first place? What do we give for a Holocaust book? There we cannot help you. I'd make all matters. It's so nice, I could keep it. All right, all right, come on, come here. <laughs> now, I need a sword of it, actually. We can't take one left one. That's hardly common knowledge, is it? Thank you. Uh, there may be problems once we're inside. I'll say, how do I find the gun? I'll say, do, how do I find you again? I'll say, find you again, how do I escape? Not this time. It's either our day. Right, right. Sorry. How we win? You don't seem excited, my little buffet. Should I be? Rides off and on, I'm sure. I do not marry tonight. No, Wesley will save me. Your Wesley is dead. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Where are the patrols? They hired a bunch of common thieves. None of them have training. In medieval times like this, a chapel would be a riot of color. So I, I do got to appreciate that they have color here. And way too many medieval movies, they just have like blank gray chapels that bugs me as hell. Alan, I didn't know this meme came from this movie. Within the <laughs> this movie is just spawning so has spawned so many memes. I am shocked. Right. You needed to see it. <laughs> they just run. I mean, to be fair, if I were to see that, I'd probably be like, all right, bail, we're done. <laughs> that poor guy. <laughs> the only one who stood his ground. Skip the end. Have you? Oh, come on, you can't. Why wasn't that down to begin with? I killed him myself. And why is there fear behind your eyes? Give us the gay key. I have no gay key. Is it? That is how I'm so. But oh, you know, in this gay key. Ah, there you go. <laughs> Come on. Escort the bride to the Hangul Suite. I'll be there shortly. He didn't come. <laughs> Straight 
dragging him along. Been so kind to me, and I won't be seeing you again since I'm killing myself once we reach the honeymoon suite. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Leave my little buddy. <laughs> oh man, a throwing knife. Yeah, tiny little thing. Whee! Did you though? Must be that yeah. little Spanish brat. I taught a lesson to all those years ago. <coughs> so is this where he gets his second wind and somehow kills him, even though he's got a gaping stab in his stomach? Of course it is. I think that's the worst thing I've ever heard. How marvelous. Oh, Mr. Bell, you are he has a knife I'm, yep because there are knives everywhere here I mean who doesn't have a good knife there's a shortage of perfect breasts in this world it would be pity to damage yours can he move yet or is he still you hold me Gently. At a time like this, that's all you could think to say. Gently. Mm-hmm. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you got a gaping stomach wound, and he's still gonna... Are you still trying to win? Why are you still there? It's going to get you into trouble someday. Well, why don't you just come up and stab the guy while he's killing the guy? But, yeah, there we go. <laughs> now he's activated God mode. My name is Nero Montoya. 
You killed my father. Prepare to die. Back to me in the character's god mode, dude. Listen, you know I'm gonna die. You killed my father. How many times are you gonna say it? I mean, he's using his hand to staunch the blood flow in his stomach. I mean, granted, uh, you could survive a stomach wound for a long time if you broke pressure, but with the way he was like, oh god, I'm dying earlier, I don't think he'd be this mobile. For me, everything I ask for, anything you want. This line. That's how I learned to swear. Always, <laughs> will you ever forgive me? It is saying that you committed it. I got married. I didn't want to. It all happened so fast. Never happened. What? Never happened. Because it did. I was there. This old man said man and wife. Did you say I did? Skip that. You're not married. You didn't say it. You didn't do it. Wouldn't you agree, Your Highness? A technicality that will shortly be remedied. But first things first. To the death! No! To the pain. I don't think I'm quite familiar with that phrase. I'll explain, and I'll use small words so that you'll be sure to understand, you warthog-faced buffoon. That may be the first time in my life a man has dared insult me. It won't be the last. To the pains, the first thing you lose will be your feet below the ankles. Then your hands, next to your nose. And then my tongue, I suppose. I killed you too quickly <clears throat> the last time. A mistake I don't mean to duplicate tonight. I wasn't finished. The next thing you lose will be your left eye, followed by your right. And then my ears, I understand. Let's get on with it. Wrong! Your ears you keep, and I'll tell you why. So that every shriek, every child at seeing your hideousness will be yours to cherish. Every babe that weeps at your approach, every woman who cries out, Dear God, what is that thing? will echo in your perfect ears. That is what the pain means. It means I leave you in anguish, wallowing in freakish misery forever. I think you're bluffing. It's possible, pain. I might be bluffing. It's conceivable, you miserable, vomitous mess. I'm only lying here because I lack the strength to stand. Then again. Perhaps I have the strength after all. Like how he grabs his sleeves. Yeah. Make it as tight as you like. Oh. Where's the first thing? I thought it was with you. You. In that case, come on. Stop it. Why does Wesley need help? Because he has no strength. I knew it. I knew you were bluffing. I knew he was bluffing. <laughs> Should I write this question for you? Thank you, but no. Whatever happens to us, I want him to live a long life alone with this cowardice. Here they go! Here they go! Where are you? There you are. Here you go. Pass the Francis tail. And then they are. Four white horses. And I thought, there are four of us. Where they find the lady. Hello, lady. So I thought they would be. In case we ever bumped into each other. I guess we just did. Isaac, you did something right. <coughs> Boy, I wanted it to go to my head. <coughs> oh, come on. 
She jumps in, catches her. Yeah, no one falls out gracefully ever, but that's okay. Yeah, no doubt. Uh-huh. You know, it's very strange. I have been in the revenge business so long. Now that it's over, I don't know what to do with the rest of my life. Have you ever considered Paris? Make one of the good bad ones. <laughs> <laughs> that is so not under the giant, by the way. That's not any of them. <laughs> oh, nice hey, mountain shots. Friends, mostly back to any. What? What? Nice kissing again. You don't want to hear that. Oh, come on. <laughs> I don't mind so much. <laughs> okay. Since the invention of the kiss, there have been five kisses that were rated the most passionate, the most pure. This one left them all behind. The end. Now I think we'll go to sleep. Uh, uh, chick. All right. Good girl. She left. She left. Oh, chick. So good. You just say so long. Maybe come over and read again to me tomorrow. As you wish. Oh, come on. Cheesy. Duh. Is this? No, I didn't think it was. Yeah, it is. Rob Reiner. So, yeah, Princess yeah. Bride. Yeah, that was very cheesy. That was. Uh, it's amazing. That's what it is. It's not a bad movie, but it is. Damn straight, it's not a bad movie. <laughs> was it? Don't you dare! Nothing bad to say about it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> no, um, <laughs> well, it just, uh, Andre the Giant, thank you. I'm assuming this was yeah. Fred Savage's first role. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, that was the Princess Bride. I am a little, I'm a little at a loss for words just because of how all the memes, they're everywhere. Yeah. Memes yeah. of glory. Because it's such a good movie. It's just so quotable. That's why there's so many memes about it. Because everyone can quote this movie. Because it's amazing. Have fun swimming the cast. Oh. Have fun swimming the cast. <clears throat> Would you say it's the perfect movie? Uh, I mean, it's pretty darn close. (laughs) I mean, there were certainly flaws. I noticed, like, a lot of the background sets were, like, very clearly, like, this is set, this is prop, and we use the cheapest, like, most... It was the 80s. Here's paper mache. He had some budget, not the biggest budget. Yeah, like I said, like I said, I I I can forgive the background. Like I can always forgive the background stuff because it's you know it's you know no one's ever supposed to be looking at the background. It's just it's just I'm the loser that does. So, but yeah, it's I won't say it was a perfect movie, but it was enjoyable. Um, Yeah. I don't know what to say because I don't want to offend you. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, well, it's just 
The tr- I mean, it's just, oh, these two people are in love because they're in love. It's like, that's something that always bugs me. It's like, you can show people falling in love because that's dramatic. Showing people that are just in love, that's not that dramatic. So I would have liked to see a little bit more expanded on that. Also, just her complete... Oh, no, like, the character's wait, complete was. Oh, no, the point of the book was he wrote the book for his daughters. Like, he yeah. literally asked his two daughters... What I'm gonna write a book. What do you want me to write about? And one said a princess, daddy, and the other one said a bride, daddy. So he literally wrote. He just said, All right, I'll call it the princess bride for my two girls. And so it was. He wrote it, and it's William Goldman, who is apparently a master at like he's a master um, workman comedy. So like yeah. he kind of a parody of itself. Like it's a parody of fairy tales. Like well, that's I, why I he was that, yeah. in love. Because yeah. that's the most ridiculous thing there is, right? Like, I mean, granted, the entire movie was a clearly a parody based on, ba- you know, a parody of fairy tales. Obviously, I mean, I, you can just, you can, I mean, you can even feel just the influence it has on, you know, that right. any fairy tale you can name has on it. Um, yeah, so like I mean, butter- it's very clear. Yes, it is, it is like, very clearly a parody. Ah, like, oh, true love, and all the guys are like. You know, stereotypical stuff too. It's like mm-hmm. she's ridiculous. Yeah, but the yeah. Dread Pirate Rock. Like I said, it yeah. is enjoyable. So I mean it has the lovey dovey stuff that girls want, it has the action that guys want. So like so exactly. it is enjoyable. But yeah. like I said, it's just it's just, you know, uh the uh buttercup complete idiocy is kind of just, you know, bugs me because it's like okay, there's a rat here. You have a stick. Hit it with the flipping stick. <laughs> so I mean she's but she's playing your typical damsel in distress. I know I know she's so, playing I know she's playing the typical princess of oh save me, I can't do anything, but still. Exactly. I would have liked to see her have a little bit more agency other than I'm gonna kill myself on the night of the honeymoon, but <laughs> like I said, but like I said, that you that's one of those things it's like remember when I, when we did space balls? It's one of those things that I really can't you know, critique or anything because it's a parody. It's like, you know, yeah. so I'm gonna say I wanna say this, that, and the other thing, but that's the joke. Exactly. So, so yeah, so there's not a lot I can really say about it because like I you know, I will say it was a really good it's a it's a perfect parody. So I mean like I said with space balls, you know, everything I want to critique is that's the joke. So Yeah. So yeah, so like I said, it's a it's a perfect parody. I won't say it's a perfect movie just because there are so many little like little flaws that just I notice and they bug me to no end. And that, like I said, I'm a nerd when it comes to stuff like that. Having made yeah, the stupid it. fan it's got a great cast. Like everybody was, I think, cast perfectly. Andre the yeah, Giant yeah. is brilliant. Carrie Ellis and Robin Wright are um, like have great chemistry. Uh, Christopher mm-hmm. Sarandon is just the perfect dick as Prince Humperdinck. Like, yes. <laughs> well, he's always—I mean, in every movie he's ever played, he's always—he always has that. So, um, yeah, so yeah. No, but it's just this is a movie that I could make in high school, honestly. And I, so yeah, it is really good. I do, I did enjoy it. So. <laughs> Yeah, that was the Princess Bride. Um, <laughs> I don't know what else to say, honestly. Like I said, it's just like I said, anything I can say is, but that's a joke. Yeah. So, all right. Um, so yeah, what movie do you want to do next? I don't know. We'll, we'll Wait, figure is it my, isn't it my turn to turn? Yeah, isn't it is my turn, turn to choose. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Well, because I mean, like, like I said, there are a lot of movies we should we could actually get to. Like Shrek is a good example. I do want to get to Star Wars sometime, like the like the original Star Wars, because I've already done the prequels and I'm not doing them again. <laughs> um, I don't blame you. I'm rewatching the prequels now anyway, and I can't rewatch them so soon. Which okay, you watched the first one? I know. Have you watched the second one yet? Yeah. Which one do you think is worse? First one. The first one. The second one's my favorite in the original in the prequel trilogy. Really. Yeah. Wow. Most people I talk to say that the third one's the best. No. My personal no. opinion is that I haven't seen them in so long, I couldn't actually honestly tell you. So why do you think the second one's the best? Is it just the... 
I mean, romance. sure, Anakin has those god awful lines and the whole like sand people plot, but like yeah, sand. Oh god, don't again. Obi-Wan. We've already we've already done the sand <laughs> joke. Let's skip that. Yeah, <laughs> you get to see Boba Fett and Jango Fett, which I think are great characters. Padme is a freaking like badass. Like you get to really get to know her because she's when he's like talking about his mom and he's like she's like, um, then let's go to tattooing. And then when yeah. they find out that Obi Wan's in trouble and he's like, she's like, go rescue him. He's like, I can't. She's, you the, one takes, she's the one who takes the initiative in that movie. I'm gonna go, so I, I guess you're coming too. Yeah. And then the Padme scene. is a is a really good movie heroine. Because, like I said, because she's the one who takes the initiative in, mo- in most of that movie. Exactly. And that's why I hate the third movie so hard, because they take her great character. And just put her in the sideline. Yep. And so, you're like, fair enough. really? You couldn't think of a better so use you- for her other than just making her pregnant until the end? Yeah. You're tearing me apart, Annie! Yeah. Like, what? Oh, no. That just... When when that movie came out, my friends and I had so much time of Anakin, you're breaking my heart, and just making a parody song of that. Uh, Anakin, you're breaking my heart. Da 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 da. I'm the, is there a parody of that on YouTube? Because I'd be probably. very upset. there. Probably there has to be. Uh, <laughs> God, I'm not gonna try to find it uh, tonight. Um, no, because I honestly I need a nap. But like I said, so no, I um, did like the third one because they it felt like they really escalated. His going to the dark side. Yeah, I just watched mm-hmm. Clone Wars though. I know, but that's that's yeah. just it. The Clone Wars oh, TV actually, show the should have been Wars more movie, of what you actually do that. Was. The Clone Wars movie. What? You've seen that, yeah? The Clone Wars movie. Yeah, I just that was the second one. I just watched that one. No, the animated Clone Wars movie. Oh no, I haven't seen that. I'm still making my way through the TV show. I'm only in the second season. Well, the, I've never seen the TV show before. No, well, the movie is a prequel to the TV show, so well, the, uh, the animated okay. movie. So we could do that. Honestly, I don't want to do something Star Wars just yet because I like because when we were like when we were discussing this earlier, I got Pearl Harbor stuck in my head, and now I'm like, I actually want to do a historical movie. What's so that? maybe we do Pearl Harbor. Like I'm not I'm not saying anything for certain because uh, there are a lot of movies that are just going through my head right now. Like, oh, we can do Midway, or we can do blah, blah, blah. So, um, so yeah, I'll think about it, and I'll let you know as soon as I decide. So, yeah, um, I'm going to turn off the stream now. So, thank you, everyone, for watching. Thank you. Yeah, bye-bye. So...